Well, Adam, just reflect on the, the last week or so. Has it been a bit of a tricky week in and around the camp in terms of performances and, and lots of other things going on? Um, to be honest, I don't think our heads are turned. Um, we've had two defeats, which there's no bigger way of bouncing back than a local derby victory on uh, Saturday under the lights and uh, the cameras. So, something to look forward to. I think Fulham was um, obviously a difficult test. If, if I'm honest, they were one of the best teams I've played in the league all season. And, you know, it's no shame in losing to them. Um, I thought the game could have went differently if we took chances, but we're playing in a league that's so competitive. And if you don't take your chances, then a team can just punish you with mm-hmm. obviously one chance of their own. But um, it was frustrating the other night. Um, again, chances, but at least we're creating them. Yeah, when you look back at the, the game on, on Tuesday night, all the reports I read and all the, the commentary I heard was that there were a hell of a lot of chances, just not tucked home. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it was a typical FA Cup game. Yeah. But you're going to get shocks and that, and now it's focusing on the league. We've got one sole focus for the rest of the season and we've just got to keep plugging away, ticking over and you know, being competitive as we can. We're, we're aiming as high as possible. We're not just looking to rest on our laurels and... You know, we, we've we set about at the start of the season to obviously become better game by game and we've done that, we've come to the stage where we're in a really good position and, you know, we don't want to take our, our foot off the, the gas and, we, to be honest, and to let up a little bit, we want to hit it hard and see how far we can go and test ourselves because that's what you want to do in the Championship, you're playing against better players, better opposition, so... To say we we're looking to test ourselves with the best and and Leeds are on a man, uh, a fantastic run of late but we're looking to end that. How much does all of the speculation during this January transfer window filter through to you guys? I've heard different things from different players. Yeah, listen, it's it's bound to happen, isn't it? It's um, it's the transfer window. It's where you look a, a little bit giddy, but <laughs> you know it's exciting for the players as well. Uh, watching deadline day, but in all seriousness, the the lads have never been uh, stronger. You know, they're all in, in it together. We're a close knit bunch and there's still a lot of the core from last season that obviously went on that unbelievable run. So the team spirit is not in question um at, at all, if you ask me. I think um we're getting stronger, um, game by game and you know, sometimes setbacks do make it a little bit stronger in the long run and you know, it's it's easier to deal with. I think um Especially with the Leeds game Saturday, the, there's no more, there's no better way, as I said before, to to bounce back and against your local rivals. But um, as I said, if you if you're asking me personally, the the lads are high spirits, they they're getting on great. There's banter as usual, but mm. you know, no one's head's been turned. There's no one obviously not wanting to be here. They they're coming in, they're training hard. As I say, we're we're all a professional bunch of players and. You know, we're lucky enough to be able to to pull on the Barnsley shirt. Is it easy to stay focused then when you're the centre of that attention? Because you've been that player yourself before, where the focus has been on you and will he move, won't he move? When you've been at different clubs, so is it is it easy to stay focused? Um, listen, it's football at the end of the day. I think you you paid well enough to to be professional and to go into training and obviously give you 110 percent. And obviously on a Saturday and Tuesday, you've got to be professional enough then to perform. You know, and it is, it's, it just comes with the job in, in the end. But, you know, it's just speculation, in it? I'm not sure what, what has been said um, or what's been offered. We, we as players just come into train and crack on, have a little bit of banter and, uh, you know, go home to our families and hopefully um, see them on a Saturday. But as I said before, the, the lads haven't been, you know, stronger together all season. I think... Um, it sort of tested us the last few weeks, but we're, we're coming through it and obviously we're looking to, to push on in the league again and to get closer to them playoffs because we all remember what happened last season, mm. um, you know, when we went on an amazing run and we're looking to obviously do it again. What a game it is this weekend then, Leeds. You know all about this fixture, don't you, and just how much it means to the locals around here? <clears throat> um, yeah, most definitely. I think um, the fans are going to be vital on on Saturday. They're going to be the 12th man. Um you know, hopefully they'll come out in the numbers, show us the support and, and they've been magnificent all season and you can see that they've appreciated the effort we've put in and how we've done this season and you know, we might have surprised one or two people but we haven't surprised ourselves and as I said before, we're not settling for that. Um even the fans we've not surprised them. They've 
they've known how good we can be, how competitive we can be. So again, it's just going on on Saturday and putting a performance to to make the fans proud and obviously the management staff that we can show what we're about, how we are as a team, which is you know fast, furious at times, and also competitive. Obviously, working hard and never say die attitude and. One that will hopefully put a smile on the fans' face. You've scored in this fixture before. Leeds don't have a great record, actually, here at, at Oakwell. You know what it would mean to get a, a big result and to get yourselves going again, I suppose. Yeah, I do. <laughs> don't talk to me about last time. <laughs> fans still talk to me about it now. But, you know, it was great memories. I think it was 5-1. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind that again. <laughs> Another goal. <laughs> but we're not putting pressure on ourselves, to be honest. Um, we're just looking forward to it to what's going to be an amazing spectacle a spectacle sorry um it's it's a great team obviously Leeds United have got a massive name and um, they're coming onto our territory and it's it's time for us to show them who's the boss and they've got a good run of form at the moment they sat third in the table they they've seemingly got a bit of momentum going under Gary Monk right now the athletes and he's come in started the season come under a little bit of criticism but you know we, if you stick by your manager it shows what can happen He's been magnificent. He he done a great job at Swansea. They've got really good players, so we've got to be aware about their threats. But you know, it's about us imposing ourselves and producing our best on the day. Um, as I say, it's it's an amazing game to be able to play in. I've played in it a few times. The atmosphere is electric. Um, you, you don't have time to think on the ball. But listen, it, it's games as a footballer that you really want to be involved in. As I said before, Leeds are on a magnificent run. Everyone's where they deserve to be in the league. They they're flying at the minute, but you know it's it's about us on Saturday and how we perform, and we're going there intending to to obviously upset their playoff hopes. Good stuff, thank Adam, you. What have you made to this season for yourself personally? In terms it's of been it's been up and down, as I said. Um, it'll be a roller coaster of a season, always is in the championship. But it's um, I think if. You would have offered the fans this at the start of the year, they would have bit your hand off. But, you know, us as players, um, we're just focusing on getting better game by game. And, you know, as I said before, there was a lot of new faces, so it took time to gel. We've had a little blip, you know, mid-season. And then we, we come back stronger. So I think the the lads, it's also, they, they haven't been together that long. Um, there's not a lot of players that have been able to have the experience of playing in the league, so it's getting used to that. I think they've, to a man, dealt with it incredible. I think they've been outstanding, but as I said before, we're not we're not ready to rest on our laurels. We're ready to, to keep improving, getting better, and you know, aim as high as you can, because what's the point in settling to mid-table? You're not going to improve as a player or as a team, so we listen to the management staff. You know, we, we share their ambitions and we want to go as high as possible. I don't know how much you hear of it, but obviously after we're all leaving to Chef Wednesday, it's been highlighted a lot among fans about how much they appreciate it yourself. I mean, it's, they've always had a great relationship with them, but it must be nice because obviously... Um, it is, yeah, but listen, um, you know, it's football, isn't it? At the end of the day, I can't tell someone what to do, where to go. You know, you can have a little bit of an influence, also management staff, but then you've got agents who may turn players heads I've had it done to me in the past so it's just football but yeah it's 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 great that you get a little bit of recognition but you know I had no intention of leaving in the summer but obviously your head was turned because you got a family to think of and then I made the right decision by staying I owed it to the fans I owed it to myself and the football club for sticking by me and you know giving me the chance to play and obviously enjoy my football again so I'm you know, for for short term happiness and for me, it, it was all about coming here and becoming obviously trying to help the club reach their ambitions and you know giving something back to the fans in a long term basis and you know wanting to be part of something which wouldn't happen overnight. It's a progress, it's a work in progress that we can all obviously look to aim high and get to the. To where we want to be. Um, I thought the long term ambition here at the football club is where I wanted to be. And you know, for me, I was settled with with my family. I really had a good relationship with the players and also the staff. Most importantly, the fans. Um, you know, I felt like they understood me. So, <coughs> excuse me. In the end, it was an easy enough decision for me to stay. Did you have that opportunity then to speak to the players? Because obviously, so much speculation. You've been there. You know. Do you, do you speak to the other lads and 
you know, give them a bit of advice, maybe? Um, you, you try and give them a little bit of advice. Um, you know, I'm the old head now. <laughs> it's a little bit strange. I'm still uh, act like the youngest player in the team, but um, you you do listen. You you try and give them advice, but at the end of the day, they're own they're their own person. They've got their own mind. But you know, as I said before, I've I've given advice to players of possibly moving too early. As I said it last time, I left too early. Shouldn't have left in January. Should have waited till the end of the season or seen what was obviously going to happen towards the end of the season because I remember last time we were on a good run and you know that's that's what I said before I had regrets about leaving um, that's why I had no doubt in my mind of staying in the summer but yeah you try and give them advice and if they listen they listen if they don't they don't but at the end of the day there's no one player bigger than the football club Barnsley Football Club is the, the sole focus they're, they're the main priority not just the player so you've got to understand that aspect of it and Say it's not it's not my job to to be discussing it. It's down to the board and the management staff to to convince the players to stay. But is that what you would say? I mean, you said that. I remember when you resigned, you said the grass isn't always green. It's not, listen. It sometimes it's hard to adapt. It's especially if you if you've got a family or you're moving by yourself as a young a young man away, hundreds of miles away from home. Like yeah. I've lived everywhere, mate. I've lived down south, up in Scotland, so yeah. it's a little, little bit easier to adapt for me. Um, but it can be a little bit daunting. It can be daunting going to move yeah. a long distance away where you don't see your friends and family. And, you know, it, it is, it's hard to then integrate into a new football club, it's, especially if you're a little bit, you know, shy. You, you mightn't be as confident to speak to the new players. So you, you then tend to spend a lot of time by yourself and yeah. you become bored in a way. But it's all about how strong willed you are and how strong mentally you are. So. This time of year, yeah, it's a little bit cold, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what about the uh, the fact the goal, the famous goal you scored in the fight too? Yeah. How big was that for you? I mean, you beat about bloody half a dozen men, didn't you? Um, to be honest, it, it was just another goal, but it was most important that we got the win that day. I just remember seeing the fans going crazy, that, that joy, and yeah. it was a mad, mad feeling. I remember running over to that corner flag there with the shirt over my head, and as soon as I took it down, I could see fans running on the yeah. pitch, and I seen what it meant to the fans in that instant um, you know what what Derby obviously I speak about is Liverpool and Everton and I can see it's got that same integrity it's got the same passion it's got that ta- same taste to it and you know it's it's got all the ingredients to be a fantastic game and you know it's vitally important that we stick to our game plan and don't let oh, you know tempers boil over and sort of you know, get enthralled in um, the, yeah. the hostility and yeah. just got to be professional enough to see the job out Saturday. Is it fair to say, Mr Fanon, that this, um, you, you're looking for a catalyst, if you like, in your own personal season? It's been steady, but... Yeah, definitely. It's, there's no bigger game for myself to, to do it against, to obviously, our biggest rivals in the league. And to say, it's, it, if I'm honest, it, it's been different this season. I felt like I've worked harder for the team. You know, because in the in the league I've been doubled up a lot on and you know, create opportunities for other players then to get on the ball and space does open. But it, it's it's all about working hard for the team. I'd sacrifice that any day of the week just to get the victory and you know, to, to help the football club rather than self glory. It it is all about the football club at the end of the day. If the football club do well, you do well, so it goes hand in hand. And you mentioned about sort of individual players and a lot of interest from a lot of the young young talent as you said you, you've been there before but it I know one player isn't bigger than the club but it would be such a shame if, if this team that's done so much in the last year or so did get sort of breaking up, broken up in the last next few months yeah it would of course it would <clears throat> but I said it before it's um, obviously losing players it's part and parcel of football it's how you adapt to it and how you, you replace them but we're like we're not looking to lose anyone. We're we're a close knit bunch. We're, we're a strong team at the minute. I think um, it just proved how much you know how far we've come since last season. That I remember this time last season we were near the bottom of League One and we went an amazing run and kept that momentum going. And I said we've done outstanding this season. But the the bunch of players, the way they are, that's not good enough. We, they're not you know resting. They're not saying right. We 
we're tenth in the championship. We've done amazingly well. The 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 aiming as high as possible. The they're aiming for the playoffs. They're aiming to test themselves week in week out. And you know I've seen players in in the past at certain football clubs that would just be happy to be where they are. And you know we're we're doing well. So we're not going to go out and perform this week. It's it's not that at all. The lads, no matter who they're up against will look to test themselves because they want to be the best player they can be. So, you know, so I think it as I said it would be it would be, you know, a shame to to lose some of the players, but you know, then it's the recruitment staff if they if they can get the same quality in. Because you remember a lot of the players it's just it's a testament to the staff as well. They've brought the players on because they hadn't had the experience of playing in the championship. There's only a handful, I think there was myself and AD White who have played in the league. So it's testament to the players on how well they've done, but also the the recruitment of the staff. You know they they've been able to make the the jump up, and as I said they've they've been outstanding. You mentioned playoffs a few times. You just can't can't rule anything out after what happened last season. Can you, you can't. No, it's a different league. It's a tougher league. It's a better league, obviously. But you know the, there's no reason why not. I, I remember a few years back Blackpool doing it. It, it was amazing. For the, they went on the run after January and kept looking away. And if you're in touching distance with a few games to go, maybe seven, eight games to go, then anything can happen. It, it's just it's the charm of football, isn't it? And you know, I think um, there's seven or eight teams who will fancy it. To say it, I'm not ruling it out, but you know, as I say, we're we're taking each and every game as it comes, just solely focusing on getting better as a football club and obviously as a team and if that that takes us to the playoffs this season great if it doesn't we still had an amazing season but as I say there's no point in just you know resting on your laurels we want to aim as high as possible test ourselves and you know put a smile on a fan's face we want obviously them to get the money's worth every week been a stop start last couple of months for you personally with the sending off and it's yeah it's been a little bit frustrating but you know, it's it. As I said to you, it's part and part of the f- football. I I love it when people write me off. It just adds to the fuel for me, and it makes it even more sweeter every time I prove them wrong. So, um, write me off at your peril, please. Okay. I'll be the one who gets the last laugh, as always. <laughs>